Hi there, Christopher here from ThemeCo. Today we are going to talk about chai themes and get into the details on when and how to use them. XM Pro themes come with a chai theme installable file which you can download from your ThemeCo dashboard. A chai theme in WordPress is a sub theme that inherits all the functionality, features, and styles of its parent theme. Child themes are a safe way to modify a WordPress theme without actually making any changes to the parent themes files. When the parent theme gets updated, changes made in the child theme are preserved and applied to the updated version as well. This is why child themes are the safest and best way to make changes to an existing theme. Rather than modifying theme files directly, you can simply override them with the templates in the child theme. Now comes the question of the circumstances that it's better to use the child theme. It depends on the level of customization that you want to do in Pro or X. If you want to add CSS styling here and there, or simple JavaScript code, it is recommended to use the designated place to add the CSS code on the theme. If you want to add a site-wide style, it's better to go to Pro or X menu and click the theme options there. Here you will see the CSS icon, which opens up the CSS editor that you can use to add your styling. For example, let's add the background color to the body. Let's make it a little bit darker. And here it is. Just like the CSS editor, you can add JavaScript code by clicking the JS icon here. And this editor will show up that you can add your JS code. Now let's add a simple alert syntax here. Then hit the run link to see the result. And here you go. After you finish all the changes, hit the save button at the bottom left section and you're good to go. Now there are times that you don't want to have a site wide code and you want to add the CSS or JS code on a specific page. That is also possible to do in XM Pro. Here is the content builder that you use to add your pages. As you can see, the same CSS and JS icons that we talked about in the theme options are available here and you can add your code there. Whatever code you add here will be applicable only for this specific page. And that is how you can limit the code for this specific one. Okay. Now, the case scenarios that I talked about are most common ones that you basically don't need to install any child theme. But there are cases that using a child theme is inevitable. For example, here is a single post page which contains a sample post and comment section. Here's a section that uh, reads leave a reply. And let's say you are not happy with that and you want to change it to something else. Uh, as this is a WordPress generated text, you cannot change it from the dashboard and you need to add a PHP code in the functions PHP file of the child theme to change that. So let's install the child theme and do the customization. Here is the child theme page on my ThemeCo dashboard and I put a link of the page down below into the description box. So let's download the Pro child theme. Okay. The next step is to go to the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Themes. Here's the place that you can install the child theme. I already have uh, the Pro theme installed here. So to install the Pro child theme, we need to click the Add New button and then the Upload theme. Now let's choose the downloaded zip file here. Then we should hit the install now button and it uploads the file and installs the child theme. Okay, now click the activate link and the child theme will be activated as the main theme of the website. The next step is to access the functions.php file of the child theme. To add the necessary PHP codes to change the text, in the post comment section. You either can use FTP connection to access that or for my case I can simply go to appearance and theme editor. It is not always uh, available and in some installation this menu is not there. 
Now on the right hand side I choose the theme functions link which shows actually the functions that PHP file content. Here you can see the default code of the uh, functions that PHP file which we do not touch. I'm going to add uh, the code after this section. Uh, add the code uh, after the additional functions section here. Okay, let's paste the necessary PHP code. Okay. This code basically uses the get text filter of WordPress to replace the text in question. We assign the custom text change function to the filter and inside the function we use the uh, string i replace function to change the text from leave a reply to for example what's on your mind. I will uh, add uh, links to proper resources and also the code itself in the description box. Now let's save this function and see the result on the post page. And here is how we change the text in the comment section using the child theme. That's all basic stats you should know regarding the child themes. Thank you all and see you soon.